Well, hello there again, everybody. It is a few days since you last saw me. Uh, we are back in Okefenokee, or heading to a different part of Okefenokee. And the purpose of today's outing, or tonight's outing, I should say, is we're gonna be road cruising for snakes. Uh, right now it's 7.30, we have an hour before sunset. So we are in the prime time, or entering the prime time for snakes to be crossing roads. And it's quite possible that we could run into a snake right about now. Um, since I've moved to the southeastern U.S., I was under the impression that finding snakes would be very easy, that all I would have to do was go out and search for them. I could see all different species crossing roads on the side of hiking trails. Uh, a lot more than I would normally find growing up in the north where we have such a smaller biodiversity. Um, however, finding snakes in the southeast has been pretty difficult for me, and while I have been able to knock off nearly 10 lifers in the eight, nine months that I've lived down in Georgia, um, not as it has been more challenging than I expected it to be. So this place that we're going to is extremely reliable for seeing snakes on roads at night. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna work our way out there. We're we'll road cruise a couple for a couple hours and we'll work our way back. So I have no idea what tonight has in store for me. I'm hoping to see, just I'd be happy to see more snakes regularly. I have not seen a cottonmouth in the state of Georgia in 2022 and it's almost June. Anyhow, I'm gonna go out, find some snakes hopefully and expecting to be a good night. And who knows, maybe we'll see something along the way. Well, we got our first snake of the night, everybody, and this is the second pygmy rattlesnake I have ever seen. This is another smaller neonate snake. He's a little alerted. We obviously don't want to get too, too close to this guy, but what a stunning, stunning snake. I have, as I mentioned before, I have spent months searching for these guys, and to actually finally see another one is such a great feeling. I'm gonna try and help get this guy off the road, but I'm gonna grab a few photos first, and yeah. First snake, live snake of the evening, a beautiful dusky pygmy rattlesnake. Okay, so we, I have just moved the pygmy rattlesnake off the road. Uh, it posed for several minutes and then unfortunately I heard cars coming and so I used my snake hook and got him off the road safely. There was actually a couple that saw me, stopped and allowed me to move the snake off the road. I made sure he got into the direction that it was going in. So yeah, I mean like I said before, pygmy rattlesnakes, I spent so long looking for them and to finally see them more regularly is such a treat. And that's a great start to the evening, our first live snake. We still got a, a little bit of a ways to go before we get to the road that I want to cruise on, but we're almost there and already off to a great start. Okay, everybody, so this is the area that we are going to be road cruising. Uh, we're going to be out here till roughly 10 o'clock before we head back home. It's 8.36 right now, so we'll have roughly an hour and a half. Uh, sun, the sun has just set roughly 10 minutes ago, and already we know the snakes are out because we saw the pygmy earlier, but I haven't seen anything in here just yet. Um, we will, hopefully, that will change. Um, what I'm going to basically be doing is patrolling this road. Um, there's another turnoff road that I'm going to be patrolling as well, and we're going to do that until for as long as we can and hopefully we find some snakes. Okay everyone, so we got our first snake on the road and I think this is a young cottonmouth. It is, we got a young cottonmouth, our first snake. There it goes, slithering off the road. Always good to see these guys out and about. This is my first cottonmouth in Georgia of 2022, so Gonna try and grab some photos of this guy before he makes his way off the road, but we literally just passed here. So the snakes are starting to move. This is really exciting. This is a southern toad. Um, this is the first in, oh, there he goes. Right off the road. That's a good thing too, because there's a car coming. But yep, that's a southern toad right there. Great grass. 
So we'll leave them be. Darkness has fallen. The mosquitoes are ferocious, but we are still out cruising. Okay, so here, this is the second southern toad of the night. And there he goes, or she, off the road. So two southern toads, a cotton mouth in the last, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. So here's another southern toad. So right there is actually a monster southern toad. This is a big female who is literally just right near the middle of the road. We've been seeing dozens of southern toads at this point. Um, but there she goes again. All right, everyone, this is unfortunately really kind of gory, but this is a glass lizard that was just hit, and you can see the tail broke off, and is actually still moving. The lizard just got hit, and you can see there are pieces of him over here, and right next to it, who also got hit, this looks to be a southern toad. So even on roads like this, which, as you can see, there are no traffic, Road mortality is still an issue. That's really devastating to see this glass lizard just get hit like that. And again, sorry for the gore, but this is unfortunately the reality of roads and their impacts on wildlife. Well, we have our second or third species of the day uh, second one here. This is a little ribbon snake, and there he is, and working his way right off the road into the grass. Um, glad he was able to make it off the road. I was kind of hoping to pose him for a photo, but I'll settle with the uh, GoPro shot. He's already disappeared. So again, it's been kind of a quiet night for snakes, unfortunately. Uh, we are experiencing some lightning off in the distance, which is not really good. Looks like we got something else up ahead right here, though. Oh, here we go. Something other than a southern toad. We got our second amphibian. This is a little green tree frog, I believe. Or it could be a squirrel green tree frog. I actually don't know. I'm going to take some photos of this guy, help him get off the road, and then we're going to keep on driving. Barred owl just flew. There's a barred owl that just flew. Yeah, it's in the tree. Okay, I don't think you can see this at all, but there is a barn owl, a bard, excuse me, barred owl that was on the side of the road and just flew into this tree right over here. So that's really exciting. I'm gonna try and take a picture of this guy and then we'll be back on the road. All right, everyone, check this out. It looks like we got an adult banded water. I think this is a banded water snake. Yeah, it is right on the side of the road here. This thing's probably at least three feet. Um, I'm gonna try and grab some photos of this guy. He just shut off the shot off the road, but what a pretty snake. This is our fourth snake of the night and a really stunning one. And actually, everyone, this snake does not have keeled scales. I think this might be a mud snake. And if that's a mud snake, this is my lifer. I'm gonna grab him, put him on the road over there, and try and get some photos. I'm not 100% sure of what this is, but it does not have keeled scales. And it's not taking off like a Nerodia. I think this might be a mud snake. So here it is, my lifer mud snake. 
I thought this was in the Rodia. I can't get over this. The snake has finally been posing. Oh my god. This is awesome. Fourth snake of the day. I don't care how many snakes we haven't seen. What an awesome, awesome snake. Okay, people, my night is complete. Oh my god, I cannot get over the fact I just saw a mud snake. I thought it was just a Nerodia, I thought it was a banded water snake, and when I saw the fact it had no keeled scales, it was a mud snake. Oh my god, I'm on cloud nine right now. Those snakes are so hard to find. I never, I was, that was a target that I was expect, like, hoping to see. No chance I thought I was gonna find that snake. Oh my god, I've never been this stoked for finding a snake in a long, long time. This might be the most excited that I've ever been when in regards to finding a snake. Who cares if it's lightning out? I Okay, everybody, good, the good news, the gate to Okefenokee is still open. Um, as tempted as I am to go back and um, look for more snakes in that stretch, oh, I am so tempted, you have no idea right now. I have to head home. I have a, oh, 120 miles to get to my house. Um, it's currently 10.07, I have no cell service. Yeah, I, oh, I'm tempted. But I have to go home. I have to make my way home. There's no snake that will be able to trump that. That was a massive adult mud snake. I'm like, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I am actually going crazy right now. All right, but there is more road ahead of us, so we must drive it and find more snakes. I'm sorry I'm going insane, people, but that mud snake man, oh my God. What's this in the road? Nothing. All right, I'll check back in with you all if I have a snake. If I don't, I'm not going to care, but yeah. All right. All right, everybody, we got snake number five of the night, and there's a deer over there. So what do we have here? Don't tell me this is another mud snake. This? No. It is a Nerodia, our first Nerodia of the night. I think this is a banded water snake. I'm almost certain this is a banded water snake. I'm just gonna grab some photos of this guy. He's probably gonna shoot off the road and go ballistic. Um, he's already a little, let's just say, annoyed by my presence. But I'm gonna grab some photos and then we're gonna keep on driving. I almost ran this guy over, but I swerved out of the way at the last second. Snake at number five in the night. He's got a stub tail, but a gorgeous banded water snake.
you can you can see how much these snakes resemble cottonmouths and how people mistake in them all the time. Uh, this Nerodia, you can see the circular pupils. No, 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 don't go that way. You're heading in this direction. Trying to get him off the road without disturbing him. Thankfully, no one's on the road here. But what a stunning snake. I'm just getting some really cool GoPro footage of him right now. Hopefully, he'll make his way off the road in this direction. But what a stunning snake. Come on, buddy. Let's go. You're almost there. There we go. Don't turn around. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Just a little encouragement, and he has made it, or she, has made it off the road safely and did not get run over. So that's really cool. Fifth snake of the night, and we still got over 100 miles of driving left. A beautiful... Nice Nerodia. Okay, everyone, we got our sixth snake of the night. It is a cottonmouth, our second cottonmouth. This is our first adult cottonmouth of the night. He is just posing right here. Really interesting, super light-colored cottonmouth. He was working his way off the road, and you can see him right here just freezing up at the moment. Cottonmouths are such cool snakes. I always wanted to see them growing up as a kid, but I lived more than 500 miles north of the northern extent of their range. And now, here's a cottonmouth right here. What a stunning snake. Okay, everybody, we got snake number seven of the night. I do not know what this is. It's my first live corn snake. Yes, finally. I have been meaning to see a live corn snake. This is so cool. Check this guy out. Oh, what a night. The All the corn snakes I've ever seen in the wild have been dead. This is the first live corn snake that I have seen in the wild. I'm going to definitely grab some photos of this guy, and wow. Okay, everyone, so here's a DOR snake I found, saw earlier. I actually don't know what this snake is. The pattern, to me, is similar to that of a corn snake, but it's so lightly colored. I think this could be a rat snake, but I'm not 100% sure, actually, as to what this is. So, I think it's a rat snake, but again, I'm not 100% sure. I could be wrong, too. Okay, everyone, so we've just come across this huge DOR snake. I believe this is a massive yellow rat snake. I'm just going to flip him on this side. Yeah, that's a yellow rat snake that just unfortunately got obliterated. You can tell by the striping right here. But this thing 
has to be probably four feet in length. It's one of the biggest rats. It's the biggest yellow rat that I've seen. And I mean, just look at the size of them. Wow, that is an, an unfortunate situation. I'm just gonna move him off the side of the road. Literally, this thing is just, ugh. Definitely gonna have to wash my hands after this, but that is a massive, that thing's probably close to five feet long. Look at the size of the snake. It's almost, it's probably past one o'clock in the morning right now. That is a huge, snake such a bummer that a snake this size just got obliterated but it's the seventh snake species of the night and that's just disappointing a five foot long or close to five feet long yellow rat snake Okay, everybody, it is almost two o'clock in the morning and I am officially back home, brutally exhausted. Uh, with that being said though, this outing was probably my best snake experience that I've had so far down in Georgia in the sense of going out and finding a ton of snakes. As I had said at the beginning of this video that I had really struggled finding snakes in the southeast U.S. or finding them in pretty good numbers. Um, tonight, that all changed. I think we ended up with a total, including DORs, like 10 snakes. And of those 10 snakes, I think we found 7, potentially 8 species. Which, including, which does include the DORs, but still, 8 species would be a personal record for most snakes I've seen in a day. Uh, so yeah, this was totally worth it going out to the west side of Okefenokee. The mud snake alone made the entire trip worthwhile. The pygmy rattlesnake was a super nice added touch. And as well as find, finally getting to see a corn snake in the wild that hadn't been killed. Those were the three that really stood out to me. And of course the cottonmouths and the ribbon snake and then the rhodia, of course. So it was just a really great night. The light, even with the lightning... No rainfall, it was just more or less a light show off in the distance. So with all that being said, I am officially ending this video. I don't care if I see a lizard crawling on my porch behind me right now. I'm done. Uh, thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video. Uh, if you liked what you saw, consider liking and, and or subscribing to the channel. Always much appreciated. Have a good night, everybody. Take care. Bye.